I am from Viltrum, but it's not the planet I've told you about. We have created a perfect civilization, but it took all of our strength, determination, and courage to get there. In order for our people to reach their full potential, we had to remove the weak from our society. It was a long and difficult process. When it was over, our population was cut in half. But what emerged from the ashes was unstoppable. By the time I was born, Viltrum was already the greatest empire in our galaxy. We decided to make it the only empire in our galaxy. Once I was old enough, I joined the war effort. It was hard, but I believe in our cause. Some species resisted, of course, but no one could withstand us for long. Soon, our empire encompassed thousands of planets. But as our territory grew, our forces were stretched thin and our expansion stopped. We needed a better, more efficient way to conquer worlds. Our most trusted officers were each given a planet to weaken by themselves. I was one of those lucky few. Krypton was about to be destroyed. The Kryptonian Empire had conquered and spread across the stars like a disease until we found an enemy we could not defeat. Our empire was falling to a war of its own making, and it was clear no one would survive. Your mother and I sent you away to save your life, but we never intended for you to be alone. No, 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 that doesn't make sense. When, when the portal opened, I saw that Kryptonian ship coming through to invade Earth. The ship you saw was a dead remnant, an unmanned ghost ship running on autopilot. The Kryptonians aren't coming back? The Kryptonians are dead. You are the last of us, Kal-El. What is this? It's us. Before the fall, Krypton was the most advanced society in the universe. The apex of science, art, everything. The Empire brought less advanced planets into the fold, giving them the opportunity to become model Kryptonian citizens. <laughs> this is beautiful. Isn't it? I mean, <clears throat> this is what we're trying to rebuild. They look like my parents back on Earth. That's Garden Citizen 1 and 2. Oh, and, and this one, that's Food Citizen. I often wonder what our food tasted like. Oh, watch this. I used to do this all the time as a child. When not training, of course. Kara, these people, they're, uh, they're all gone. I know that. I know what it's like to be lonely. I'm not lonely.